the last thing we need to do before we print is to actually build the sheets. So let's scroll down in our list all the way to the actual sheets. So remember, we changed the names of the sheets that we were going to use, so everything in capital letters are the sheets that we're going to create for the plan. So let's go to the cover. We've already changed the title block, so now we just we need to drag in the image for the cover. So we're going to stay in the actual sheet, but we're going to scroll up the list and you're going to go to your renderings area and hopefully you have made a rendering for the cover. So just take this and just click and hold and drag. Let go with your finger and you're going to see the outline of the image pop in. Now this is pretty small and that's okay. I'm going to put this right down in the bottom corner. Now to adjust the size of a picture so you'll have to do this quite a bit on your rendering sheets. Double click on the picture and then that activates that view. It grays out your title block. Now click on the edge of the image and then you can use the dots and size this up. Double click anywhere outside of the image and that deactivates it. If it doesn't deactivate that view for you, you can always right mouse click deactivate view. So now you've got your image, so you can kind of click and move this around if you want to. And slide this up and make it look nice and centered in your title block area. Um, as you're moving things, just be aware of this title bar and I will show you that in a minute. Um, with the images, it can just stay with the image itself. So this would be my cover sheet. Now let's go to first floor. Your first floor plan should automatically be in this page. Um, it automatically comes in through the sheet. So we don't really have to do anything to this. Go to furniture plan. Now Scroll up, all the way up to the top, find furniture, click, hold and drag, let go, and you should see your furniture plan pop in. Remember this plan is one fourth of an inch equals one foot. That's created that sheet. Now let's go to the kitchen plan. So here is kitchen plan in sheets. There's something in the plan. Now this was probably some kind of um, structural plan to begin with and we renamed it to the kitchen. So just hover till you get the outline edge, click to highlight, hit your delete key, and then that goes away. Now we're going to have to drag several things into the kitchen plan. So let's scroll up our list and go find kitchen. Click and hold, drag, let go with your finger, and we're going to place the kitchen plan in the top corner. Now remember this needs to be a half inch equals one foot. It looks a little small for this sheet, but remember we're going to move more things in here. So you have your plan in the upper corner. Now we created two section views, so hopefully you have named those kitchen. You're going to drag in one section view. Remember it needs to be a half inch equals a foot. Drag in the other. Half inch equals a foot. And then you need a rendering. You need a rendering of your kitchen. So in your kitchen plan, you have the actual plan itself that we created, section views to show both views of the kitchen, and then a rendering of the kitchen itself. Okay, so we've 
completed that sheet. Now elevations. You can fit two elevations per sheet. So let's scroll up to your elevations. Click and hold. Now when you bring this in, make sure you've hidden everything. See how my window's a little big? We have to click to see what's wrong, but I don't see anything in the plan itself. So let me see how to adjust this, okay? One thing that you can do, let's go back to the east view. There's nothing in my plan, so let me turn on my crop region, and let's just tighten that up. So we can just click on the edge of that, pull that in, and now I'm going to turn this back off, and let's go back down to our sheet. Everything you adjust will adjust in the actual sheet. Now, it adjusted the view, but it did not take my bar with it. So remember, if I click the outside edge, it moves everything. If I click just the bar, it moves only the bar. If I just click and highlight the outside border, it gives me this dot. So now I can size that in. And that looks much better. So that was my east elevation. So now let's scroll back up. I'm going to drag in north. That looks good. And now we're going to go to the second elevation sheet. Scroll back up in your list. Drag south. And west. The next sheet is wall sections. We're going to include our schedules on this sheet as well. So first we need to drag in our wall section. So scroll up to your sections. We named it wall section so you'd know which one to grab. So just take that, drag it in in place the wall section. Now remember yours will have all your labels and text around it. Okay, now we need to bring in the schedules. So scroll down to the area for the schedules and you do the same thing. Click on door schedule, click and drag it in. Now see how it's kind of bunched together? We're going to fix that in just a minute. We want the room schedule and the window schedule. We're not going to use the lighting schedule. So line those up. See how that's nice and even? And then you can click on the edge of these and use these little arrows to size it out. You really don't want this text wrapping to two lines. So you can just pull these out a little bit. You can space them if you want, make them look a little more spaced out and even. There. So now you have wall section and your schedules on one sheet. All right, let's scroll down in our sheets. We have interior renderings next. So double click on interior renderings and open that sheet. Now you're going to go back up your list and you're going to start pulling in the different rendering views. Now remember some of these may come in really huge, some of them may be really small. So just size them as you need them, but you just want to fill this sheet with different renderings of your house. See that's really big, so what I want to do is just I'll click it into place double click on it, click the edge, size it down. Now notice the little name bar did not come with it. Double click, so I'm going to move it where I want it. I'm going to put it down on this bottom row here, and then I'm going to size this bar. 
and then move it where I need it to be. These never want to cooperate the right way. So remember, place that where you want it, click off of it, then click the bar to move it. There you go. Okay, so keep dragging in your interior renderings. Let's go to exterior renderings and scroll back up to renderings and then you're going to start bringing in the renderings for that sheet. And again, you'll have to size a lot of these. So you may just want to pull everything in and then start sizing things around. So remember you should have an interior render of every room and an exterior render at least four exterior renders and then we're going to pull in our site plan sheet. Now with the site plan we have this cropped out but you may have to adjust it if it's way too big to fit on the sheet so we're just going to take site plan from the list drag it in and see how it looks with our scale. Well, that looks pretty good that fits. So if you need to crop it a little more remember go back to site plan use the button in front of the sunglasses and pull these edges in because our main focus is the actual lot in the street and the placement of the house. So once you have these sheets, you've got your plan and you're ready to print. So I'll show you how to print in the next video.